If you would like to study as a full-time student in the United States, you will generally need a student visa. The F-1 visa allows you to enter the United States as a full-time student at an accredited college or university, such as Minot State. You must be enrolled in a program or course of study that culminates in a degree, diploma, or certificate, and your school must be authorized by the U.S. government to accept international students. The Form I-20 is a government form used to determine if a student is eligible for F-1 student status. It is a multi-purpose document issued to you that you should keep safe as you will need it throughout your entire student life cycle. The Form I-20 certifies that 1. You are a bona fide student. 2. That you have met the Minot State admission requirements. 3. That you intend to pursue a full-time course of study at Minot State. And 4. That you have provided proof that you have enough money to study and live in the United States without employment outside the permitted opportunities. The top portion of the form outlines all the tasks to be completed for the Form I-20 and Certificate of Eligibility. The bottom portion is a review of the acceptable sources of financial support, starting with personal funds, leading into funds from sponsors, and other sources of funding. Personal funds come from your own resources. These resources could be savings accounts or investments in your name. The funds from sponsors could come from parents, relatives, and friends. If you, as a student, alone do not have enough personal funds to meet the required financial support amount, you will need to secure a sponsor. Sponsors must complete the Affidavit of Support on page 7 of the Form I-20 application. You and your sponsors must provide proof of available funds through savings accounts, investments, retirements, education fund statements, or proof of discretionary income. Other sources of funding could come from scholarships, graduate assistantships, or loans. Part 1. Fill out the personal information as outlined on the form. Please provide your surname where it says family name. The information should match your personal information on your passport. Part 2. If you are currently in the United States, fill out the information. Part 3. If you are not currently in the United States, fill out the information in this section. Part 4. Fill out the required information for how you would like to receive your Form I-20 from Minot State University. While standard mail requires no payment, please note it may take 3 to 10 weeks to arrive and does not include tracking information. Express delivery is encouraged. It will be delivered via express mail. Tracking information is provided. We strongly encourage all students to choose this option. A mailing address is required for standard air mail and express delivery mail. P.O. Box information is not accepted. This page outlines the estimate of expenses for international students in U.S. dollars. This estimated amount of expenses must be provided prior to Minot State issuing the I-20 certificate. The funding sources provided for the Form I-20 are not required to be used to pay for the Minot State tuition and fees. The completion of the I-20 requires you to submit proof of funding for all the items listed, but not all the expenses will be billed through your Minot State student account. If you have dependents, you must include the estimated cost of them as outlined on the form. The funds listed change year to year. An annual increase of approximately 10% for the total cost can be expected each year. The Student Statement of Financial Responsibility page provides an opportunity for you, the student, to tell us how you plan to prove sufficient funds are available for your education. To complete this section, please put the exact amount of funds being provided on each line. Be sure to list all applicable sources of funds provided. You may have personal funds only, personal funds and sponsor funds, sponsors funds only, or any combination that works for you. However, the total of your lines must add up to at least the minimum amount listed in U.S. dollars. Proving more than the minimum amount ensures that Minot State has enough documentation. You must print your name, sign, and date the bottom of page 5.
If you are planning on asking sponsors for assistance in financially supporting your education at Minot State, you will need to supply these sponsors with the financial sponsor's affidavit of support. Page 6 explains what this affidavit indicates for the Form I-20. It also explains how to complete the form and the requirements for the documents provided. You and your sponsor should understand this page. There are three examples of proof of financial evidence options. Number one, bank statements or bank letters. The document must provide the sponsor's name, issuing institution's name and or logo, the exact amount of available funds, and shows the currency. Number two, investments, retirement, and education funds. The document must have the sponsor's name, issuing institution's name and or logo, the exact amount of available funds, and shows the currency. Number three, pay stubs and tax forms. Last six months of pay stubs or current year's income tax form and most recent pay stub. Please remember, bank statements, bank letters, investments, retirements, and education funds provided must be less than two months old. Minot State will convert the currency to U.S. dollars on the day financial documents are received. The actual Affidavit of Support is found on page 7. This must be completed and sent in by the sponsors. If there are two sponsors on the financial accounts being used to prove finances, both sponsors must sign the same form. If you have more than one sponsor with separate accounts, you may duplicate these pages for the sponsor. Be sure to list each sponsor separately on your student statement of support. Remember, your I-20 is an important document that you will keep with you while you are studying in the United States. Once you receive your I-20, you will need to pay the I-901 SEVIS fee. This fee is mandatory and must be paid before you enter the United States. The Form I-20 lists your program start date. You are allowed to enter the United States 30 days before your start date. F-1 student visas can be issued up to 120 days in advance of your course of study start date. You're expected to have the original Form I-20 at your visa interview and as you enter the United States. Do not pack it away in your suitcase. A U.S. Customs and Border Protection officer will instruct you to present your Form I-20 at the port of entry. Your Form I-20 proves that you are legally enrolled in a program of study in the United States. Therefore, it may be needed when you apply for the benefits available to F-1 students. For example, if you are eligible to apply for a driver's license or a social security number, you would need to bring your Form I-20 with you along with other required documents. Once you are an enrolled student at Minot State, you will be required to attend an F-1 workshop through the International Programs Office at Minot State. This workshop is mandatory to help you understand the requirements and processes as an F-1 student. The International Program Office should be consulted for changes to your I-20 and F-1 status.